spent my whole life feeling like nobody could really love me. I guess I had all this buried guilt about Tori. I mean, why would anybody want to be with somebody capable of doing something so horrible? Just keep telling yourself that you didn't do it. Well, now I can. But before, I didn't even know where these feelings were coming from. My life was a mess. And then I met Ryan, and he was the first person who saw the good in me. Maybe that's why I had such a hard time letting Ryan go. It's like I needed that, that validation and that reassurance. Ryan made me feel sane and normal and worthy of love. Annie, you are more than worthy. But I didn't know that until last night. And now, thanks to me, Emma probably feels unworthy too. <laughs> Emma knows, right, how much you love her. How she could does. she know that? She sees me, I don't even recognize her, and then I disappear. You know, Richie made me believe that I was responsible for something that he did. I'm scared that now I've done that to Emma. What if I've made her feel like all of this is her fault? Okay. Sweetheart, I need you to tell me what happened on the bus. All right, and I want you to be afraid to tell me the truth, okay? Did you hit someone? Why? Ashley said... Karina had to come on the school trip because mommy's crazy. And all the other kids started calling me crazy Emma. Huh. So, mommy's in, in a special hospital. Remember, she's, she's sick, and that's why she's in a special hospital, so that the doctors can help her get better. I don't want her to get better. Why not? If mommy gets better, she'll go to jail. Sweetheart, did Ashley tell you that? Look, a Ashley, Ashley doesn't know what she's talking about, okay? I saw the picture of mommy in the wedding dress with blood. Did she hurt someone? Sweetheart, sometimes when people are sick, they, they get a little confused and... And, and that's what happened with, with Mommy. She got a little mixed up, and she started doing some not-so-nice things. But that doesn't mean that she's a bad person. Why can't I see her? Will she hurt me? No. No, sweetheart, she won't hurt you. She loves you more than anything in the world, and so do I. So if these kids continue to tease you, you need to tell me, okay? Okay, so I can talk to your teacher and I can make sure that they stop. I don't want to make you sad. Emma, you're my little girl. You can, you can talk to me about anything. Okay, that's what I want. I want you to be able to talk to me about anything because sometimes if we keep that hurt inside, just makes everything worse. I have to see Emma. I have to, to talk to her and explain that none of this is her fault. You can't, not without Ryan's permission. Okay, well, will you ask him for me? Danny, I don't think... No, that Aiden, Aiden please, Ryan will understand. He'll understand how important this is. I'll go speak to him, okay? I'll, I'll tell him what happened. He can speak to Emma. No, no, I need to talk to her. I need to look her in the eyes and make sure she knows that I am responsible and this is not her fault. The last time I went to see Ryan and, and asked him if you could see him, he said no. Uh, okay, but I was in a bad place then. He was trying to protect her, but he doesn't have to worry about that now. Not after last night. But now you know the real reasons behind all this. You can work through okay, it. Aiden, but... but Emma needs to work through it too. Do you understand? You have to tell Ryan that. I need to explain this to her. That is part of protecting her as well. I don't think Ryan's going to see it this way. Practically since the day that Emma was born, okay, her life has been chaos. Okay, first we go on the run from Terry. Then we come to Pine Valley and she's yanked from one place to another. Listen to me, do you know how many homes Emma has lived in since we got here? Do you know how many people have just vanished from her life without any warning or without any explanation? Me, Greenlee, 
Aunt Di, Uncle Richie, um, her grandfather, who she knew for five seconds before Richie scared him off. I just... I don't want my daughter to spend one more day thinking that any of this is her fault or that, or that she's not worthy of love, especially from her own mother. But your situation was different, all right? Emma has all the love and support. Emma's seven years old. I was seven years old when this nightmare began, and look what happened to me. Aiden, I just need to make sure if Emma has any fear or any guilt, I have to free her of that. Okay, just like you freed me. No child should ever have to deal with that kind of pain. I'll be back soon. Your mom's gonna take care of you. Look who's up. Hi. I'm gonna go get your daddy, okay? <clears throat> it's okay, honey. It's all right. I know, I know, I know you want your daddy. Mama's here. Mama's here, okay? I know daddy took care of everything when I was gone. But I'm back. So he doesn't have to do it by himself anymore. He shouldn't have to. When it comes to you and your brother, we're a team. Team Slater. You have given me so much, my sweet Ian. Hope. Strength. Inspiration. You came into this world fighting and you haven't stopped since. I'm sorry it's been so hard for you. You have been so brave. I am so, so proud of you. A lot of what you've been through is my fault. I stopped fighting. For my marriage, for our family. I was making it all about me when I should have been thinking about you and Spike. I know you need us. You need me and your dad. Then we're here. We are, we're here. You don't have to worry about anything. All you have to do is get better so we can take you home. And when you do, we will all be there surrounding you with love. stronger all the time. Oh, I'm happy to hear that. Someone else is too. He won't let go of Ian's bear. You miss your brother, don't you? He keeps asking when Ian can come home and play trains with him. I'm gonna talk to you. I know it's not the same without your brother here. I know. But you know what? They had to fix him up. He had a problem with his heart. 
But now it's all good. He's resting. And hey, he says thank you for the card you sent him. It's very cool. But he wants to see you too. So what do you think? You want to go see your bro? Yeah. Yeah? All right. Let's do it. Come on. Mm. Oh.